can I maneuver my camera to not show you my background? I actually look insane. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> what is up, you guys? It's Michaela, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is actually one of the last days of sorority recruitment. The title of today's video can actually come as a shock to so, so many people because I don't think I give off sorority girl vibes. I know everyone's gonna say, like, oh, what is a sorority girl like? B F F R. What did that spell? Like we all know the stereotype of what you picture a sorority girl to act like or look like or talk like. And I don't really think that's me. So yeah, it may come as a shock to most of you guys. I've mentioned it like here, there, like little hidden Mickey's, like little breadcrumbs, but I don't think I've done like a dedicated video. Actually, one of the last days of sorority recruitment. I know, I know, I know. I should have done this like since day one and like logged the whole experience. I was not here for the first week. Usually you're not allowed to miss sorority recruitment. One, I'm a senior. And then two, I like physically couldn't be there because I was on vacation. Oh, wait, I'm gonna stop talking and do my makeup while I'm doing this because literally call time is like an hour. But yeah, I thought I would just film today's video and kind of talk about sororities, my experience, recruitment in general, and things of that nature. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to keep on watching and let's get started. So I actually lost my moisturizer and I ordered a new one and it like didn't come in. Oh, do you want to say hi, Nikki? Oh. <laughs> hi, <laughs> happy last day of brunch. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> I would have to cut out so far. I'm all happy and bubbly because this is like, I only showed up like yesterday, so I'm not dead yet. Nikki's been here for like the full two weeks. <laughs> So she's like another case study. But yeah, right now we're getting ready. Actually running like really late. We were supposed to be up like an hour and a half ago. I don't know what to talk about like without getting exiled. They shoot you. <laughs> they shot her. They took her to the back and shot her. <laughs> but it is really exciting just because we get our, our new PC. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I attend the University of Southern California. And so Greek life isn't huge. It definitely isn't big like, like Bama, but it definitely isn't small like Long Beach State or something. Yeah, I think 30% of our school is in Greek life. Yeah, is it 30% of our school? It's like 20 something. Okay, well, I'll just lie. It seemed like a lot more though. Yeah, that's the thing is that even though it's like a smaller percentage, it feels like a lot. So definitely a lot of people are in Greek life, but it also isn't like you're completely excluded if you're not in Greek life. And I kind of like that. I didn't want to feel the pressure of like, fuck, I have to join Greek life. So yeah, my experience may be very, very different from others just because we don't go to a school in the South. I'm in a sorority called Alpha Phi, Beta Pi chapter. AOE. Shout out my the foot curl. So everyone always asks me like, did you know you wanted to join a sorority? Was that something that was always kind of in the cards for you? To be quite honest, it was. When I was younger, especially when I was in high school, I was really, really infatuated with the University of Alabama, which was so funny because especially where I'm from, like nobody kind of goes there. I didn't know a single person in Alabama, but I was just infatuated with the school. And when I was doing research on the school, I figured out what sororities were. And I thought they were the coolest thing literally in the entire world. And so I really, really, really wanted to join one. But I was kind of looking at like the glory of sororities and then I didn't really realize that people viewed them as a negative thing until I got a little bit older and I was thinking about joining one and then I started reading like all these horror stories and I would literally watch YouTube videos just like this one and they would talk about like my negative rush experience why I'm dropping all my houses I was like so scared so I kind of went back and forth and I was like okay I'm not gonna do it but I ended up doing it just because I felt like I really really needed that sense of community and I thought really what is the worst that could happen like I rush and I don't like it or I had a negative experience and I learned something out of it and I never have to see those people ever again besides in my classes all the time and in my nightmares no, literally. or be in a really cool house with really cool people and have lifetime memories from it and luckily I got the latter so yeah that was kind of my experience with like joining a sorority so bad because I know I have to get ready but I'm like procrastinating it because I want to talk so if you're rushing for the first time I kind of wanted to explain it from your guys' point of view and then explain it from our point of view as best I can without some things are like confidential so like I can't explain everything but I can try to explain like the vague points we're currently on the fourth round of recruitment. So there's different rounds. Each round is kind of like a different day. So we have like philanthropy day, we have sisterhood day. When you first start rushing, you're put into these groups with other girls that you're gonna be going into the houses with. And then you're assigned a group. I know in the South they're called Rogamas, but here they're called RCs. And then basically you go to each house and you get to talk to the different girls in their houses. And then at the end of it, you get to rank the houses by the conversations you had and the vibes you felt and then so on and so forth throughout the next rounds and then based on your list and the sorority's feedback 
it curates the houses that you're gonna get to go back to. So the list is gonna progressively get smaller and smaller. So somebody could have seven houses during the second round, but somebody that you rushed with maybe could have like five houses left. Like I said, each round is a different day. First round is kind of like a little introduction. It's gonna be mostly, you know, kind of boring questions like what's your major, where are you from? And then each round gets a little bit more deep and a little bit more deep is because these are girls that you're gonna share space and share a house with and literally like share your college experience with. So it progressively gets deeper throughout the rounds. Oh shit, I put way my guy. <laughs> I put way too much bronzer on. If you're watching this and you go to USC, literally the best thing to do is enter sorority. Like no clue because ours is so different. So I feel like watching somebody's from like the University of Georgia or TSU would be a very different experience. I know in like the South, like you'll buy like a whole new wardrobe and like stuff like that. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, wear this color on this day. But here at USC, it's not like that. Like you don't really need to buy a new wardrobe. Like a lot of people do, but you don't need to. So basically that's from like the rushing point of view. And then from the recruitment, side um obviously you know we've been like training throughout the whole year to kind of prep for it just because we want to make sure that everybody going through the experience is having a good experience and so you kind of go through training yeah like i said there's different days and day four is prep round and this is the day where you get the deepest with the girls so you can talk about your experience during rush any concerns you may have joining a sorority house um, if you've been going through anything in your personal life and really getting deep with them and obviously like share to your own comfortability but this is a moment where like literally you will see so many girls girls cry and that's like a good thing. I felt like a lot of girls cried with me when I was I cried with you. Just because you get super deep, you see a group of girls that you may think like are a certain way and like have never experienced what I've experienced and you talk to them and you realize that they're just like you and that they've went through the same concerns and they went through the same fears and yada yada yada. I feel like especially during your rushing, you always feel like you're the only one experiencing what you're experiencing. You always feel like, oh, I'm the only one nervous. Oh, I'm the only one scared about this and that. And then during prep round, you get to talk to people and you're like, no, like this is a common shared experience. And I I forgot to mention yesterday was day three obviously and that one was house tours and funny enough me and nikki's room was actually a showroom and that was so much fun like more fun than i thought it was gonna be i had some concerns just because like y'all know if you watch my youtube channel y'all know that i'm like very spiritual and like letting people in my space is a huge thing and me and nikki both had concerns about like you know we want to like this is our safe space but they did ask us a couple times uh because the keys are in the house dad just kidding but it is a really adorable room and it was actually kind of fun letting people in, especially because i got to talk about my passions you know i have like my youtube plug i have my vision board nikki has a lot of taylor swift posters guiding it back into like what is their passion and then just kind of tying it in with what i had in common to the girls and then what differences we had and then after this round the sides kind of make their decisions and then based on your preferences and then who the house thinks would fit best in you are given a bid to a sorority and a bid is just them saying like we'd love to have you in our sorority and in picking a house nikki i feel like we should give them nikki doesn't want to be on camera right now because this is what she looks like I'm just kidding, but <laughs> I feel like I should talk about like the whole getting like dropped and how to like pick your sorority when it comes down to your decision And I feel like when choosing your house, I know it can be like very very intimidating. It's super hard I won't get into it because I feel like it's not really relevant to this video But my experience with rushing was very very different in the whole dropping process But what I can give advice to girls that are going through the sorority process Just remember that like one you're not defined by the house that you choose whatever that may mean to you i say that to people also when they ask me for advice when they're applying to universities and schools that you're not defined by the school that you get into or don't get into and also think of it this way like these girls they only get to talk to you for it may seem like a long time but really they only get to talk to you for such a snippet of time like literally 10 minutes and you are trying to tell them your entire life story so what they're judging you off of is so surface level and so try your best not to internalize it because they don't truly know you to your deepest form they they can only go off of what they've seen in these 10 or 15 minutes and so really do take it with a grain of salt also the idea that like if a sorority house drops you that you don't want to be in that house anyways and not kind of like in a cocky way not like oh i don't want to be in the house anyways these are girls that you're going to be with and they are on their end they're also trying to find girls that they feel like would succeed in their house it's i feel like there's always this connotation that like oh you're dropped because they didn't like you but it's they're trying to find you a house that they feel feel like you would succeed in and that's how you would want to see it like i want to be in a house that you would have fun and that you would like make a good community in because that's what the sorority experience is about is finding a community i don't know where my lashes 
but and then in the process of picking a sorority house mine was kind of like easy in the way that i always knew i wanted to be an alpha fee like i said when i was in high school and i was interested in rushing a sorority i would literally google every single sorority at my dream schools and alpha fee always kind of stood out to me like all my favorite influencers and youtubers that i was watching at the time they're all alpha fees and so it just is so funny how like everything kind of worked out with like my recruitment experience and how i ended up being an alpha fee it just felt like it was meant to be so when picking your house i know it can be super hard and there's gonna be a lot of factors that you are gonna consider but as cheesy as it may sound because it, it's gonna sound cheesy like you'll know so you can feel the environment and you can feel the vibe and it will just sit right in your soul and it's normal i literally don't want to say it but try not to make your decision based off of very like hierarchical <laughs> oh try not to make your decisions based off of like any other reason besides where you feel most at home because if you're picking houses for any other reason besides like that's where you feel the most comfortable like yeah you may get a bid from them and yeah you may get in but that's like a house that you're going to be in for the rest of your college experience and like why wouldn't you want to feel the most comfortable with the girls that are meant to be around you and yeah that's kind of like my little advice and tidbit for going in to rush i know i'm not like explaining it to like the deepest extent but i genuinely don't know like how much i can say and i know it's not a lot so i'm trying to give the overarching view <laughs> the best houses are the ones that you could walk in and you're like you drop the act like you drop the i need to be like this or fit this mold and there are so many houses that like when i toured i literally was like who is this girl like who is me i'm in my alex earl era <laughs> Yesterday, my biggest talking points with girls was one, YouTube, and two, Alex Earl, and then also Taylor Swift, of course. And it turns out, like, one of the girls said that Alex Earl was on our campus yesterday, and I literally wanted to jump out the window and find her. I was literally gonna be like, I can't, I gotta drop the rest process, I gotta find my girl. I literally adore her like it should literally be like an afi sisterhood event where we could have found her i know everybody watching this video isn't going to rush like some people are just watching this for fun or watching this with the intent and rushing i do want to say good luck and i wish you the best and it's such a fun experience like i literally could not imagine my college experience without it like our elc she literally sat us down and she was like i know like sorority recruitment it can be a lot of pressure but at the end of the day it's supposed to be a fun experience and if you're not having fun then like what is the point of being there so yeah i'm done with my makeup i think it actually came out kind of cute Okay, the mess in the back. She slayed. I literally did this in like 20 minutes too, which is actually the biggest accomplishment. So this is the dress that I'm wearing. So each round for the girls is a different color. I'm gonna put it in your bed because your bed's cleaner. Each round for us is a different color. So like for day one, they wore white tops and jeans. Day two, they wore red for heart health. Yesterday, we wore baby blue. Today, we are wearing white. So this is the white dress that I'm wearing. I'm gonna go put it on real quick. It's so so cute. Okay, the wear already got a stain on my dress. I've had this thing on for like three seconds. Sexy. Okay, so this is the dress per kind of cute or whatever. Yesterday I loved my dress and I kept getting compliments on that one. Oh, look at my hair. Oh my gosh, you look like George Washington. Ow. Vote. Should I cut my hair up or down? I kinda wanted to keep it. You wanna put it down? We have to hurry up and curl my hair. And my hair is super oily. And that's why I didn't wash it today because I thought it was a bit in a ponytail. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the girls that might be in our PC. I want to emphasize that being a sorority is so, so much fun. And like I said earlier, it's a huge part of my college experience. I would literally recommend being in a sorority to absolutely everybody. I genuinely could not look back on my college experience without this being a part of it. Oh my gosh, so we got to rush. Call time is literally in like three minutes. It's literally, Kate, if you're watching this, I'm downstairs. I genuinely can't believe I'm making this video. It's so surreal. I used to freaking watch these videos so if you're watching this video and you're rushing at usc rush a fee oh my god i can't wait for people in like 2030 to be watching this video and they're gonna be like oh she was an alpha fee oh my stummy rumbling i'm hungry stummy rumbling who are you <laughs> so hair and makeup is complete now i'm gonna go in with some smell goods oh my gosh i got so so many compliments yesterday it's actually insane like i said yesterday was house tours so every single person that came in this room was like this place smells so freaking good oh every single person first thing that they said and then the word started spreading and people would come in this room just because they wanted to smell it again no literally dove deodorant this is the karen coconut so i'm going in with this this is the perfume chick pink sugar lotion this is like body butter it literally smells just like pink sugar if you are a fan it smells so good and then i'm gonna go in with be enchanted i love this scent it's a little bit on the tartar side because there's a lot of berries in here so that's why with pink sugar it smells so good okay nick tell them about your rush experience and i have a fat budgie that's, probably, that's my rush experience. <laughs> so I think that whose voice is that? Is that not my voice? No, your voice is normally like. So I think that. What? 
sure. I think that. So I think that if you're considering rushing, you should definitely do it because I went into rush not really knowing what Greek life was and not really like wanting to join a sorority because I didn't think that I fit that mold or whatever that mold like was in my head. But I went into it with an open mind and I ended up finding the perfect place for me. Kayla actually was one of the people that rushed me. So she really sold me on Alpha Phi. And yeah, I feel like the things that are talked about about Greek life aren't really like the reality of what it is and what you can find in a sorority. I found my best friends, Kayla being one of them. Trust the process. It can like be discouraging sometimes, but just know that it's gonna turn out how it's meant to. You're gonna find the people who are gonna be your best friends forever. <laughs> Making us late for this? For this? First vlog of the year, one. Yum. Scum dilly yum yum. Okay, hey guys, what's up? I just came back from Starbucks. I got a holy sheesh kebab. Is that the jersey? So I'm a dumbass and. <laughs> and literally for prep, I didn't really do anything besides sing on the stairs and it's because I Didn't do the first week of recruitment and so I didn't really get to meet the girls and like of course prep You're trying to like really get to know them on a deeper level and how can I get to know them on a deeper level? if I like don't even know their major and so I really didn't have to do anything besides like sing cuz <laughs> We sing we like serenade them and so really I could not show you guys anything I kind of wanted to take you guys around and also yesterday was just so chaotic like you guys would have been so Confused and it actually would have looked scary. So I thought I would show you guys bid day, which is today Originally, I wasn't gonna show bid day But like I said, I still wanted to make this video but there wasn't really much to show yesterday So I'm gonna show you guys bid day, which is so fun These are the days the girls obviously get invited to actually be members of the house So our theme for bid day is alpha ski and so it's like a winter aspen themed and so I have some white parachute pants and then I'm probably gonna wear some like white high top converse Some girls I know are wearing like earmuffs and goggles and stuff And yeah, if you guys don't know every house has like a theme on bid day and you guys wear matching shirts And then usually you have little props to wear last year our theme was ivy league So everyone kind of dressed up as a schoolgirl. but I really really like the theme this year I think it's cute But yeah, i'm really excited to take you guys along with me because yesterday I tried getting videos of me and my friends But like I said, it was literally so chaotic. So I got like two clips since I talked to you guys ear off yesterday I I literally don't think I have much to say. We're just gonna jam out to some tunes, me and Nicole. Oh, and by the way, call time is 11.30, and it's like 11.30. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that song hits different. <laughs> I don't think it was actually Bella Hadid. Does the tape trick actually work? So silly, mommy. Yeah, it looks good. Time to break out the white eyeliner. Nothing will ever defeat the like highlight in the inner corner of the eye. It'll always look unmatched. So I tried doing the I'm cold makeup. Hmm, how do we feel about the makeup? I don't hate it. Hmm, I don't know. You're cute. That's so cute. There is um, snow on the front lawn. Oh, that oh is so, God, cute. so cute. It's getting yeah. skied. I'd even introduce you guys. This is Fiona. I'm her favorite look. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so true queen. A lie was never spoken. Earrings? I was thinking the same thing. Okay, so we just got our outfits. This is the top. It is so, so cute. It's Alpha Bid Day 2023. It has these little mountains. Giving Aspen. And then I'm gonna wear these little white gloves. I think I got these from Old Navy. And then these are my parachute pants. I got these from Amazon. And then I'm gonna wear these little white glasses. These are so, so freaking cute. I'm gonna put these on and then I'll show you guys the completed fit. Okay, literally, you're freaking kidding. This is gonna be so cute with some white little high top sneakers. Wait, these are actually coming undone. <laughs> this is so cute. It's coffee season. I wanna be a boy. I'm in love. Get it done. I'm sexy. I'm good. How are you?
Miss Avery and Miss Francesca. Oh. You know, it's, it's so cute, right? Oh, actually been like vlogging successfully isn't this so cute inside and there's like a hot chocolate bar and then these are all my cute little sissies look how scrum dilly yum yum this is this is sydney isn't she so gorgeous i love her oh i literally can't okay they're gonna get all over my pants but that's fine that's cool it's in my crepe down and they threw it away that's okay oh loki but. fine she's kind of youtube famous isn't she absolutely gorgeous our new pc love her she plays on the third Nikki, hi Cal. Yummy, so cute. Little photo booth moment.